money. I want my money back. There's nothing that I can do about it. That's just their policy. Like, it won't even come back in as a return to one brand new game. And when I scan your receipt, it's going to see when this one was bought, and it's going to automatically give you trade credit. How you doing today, sir? This man really just threw the biggest temper tantrum like ever over the fact that you can't understand a simple company policy, bro. No, really, in all honesty, you guys worked at GameStop for three years before I was unfortunately fired. Ooh. But I'm going to break this down for you. You're going to hear a lot of misinformation about this situation. I've already watched a few videos about this, and I got to say most people are wrong. And it's probably because they don't have the background knowledge um, like I have on GameStop. GameStop follows me on Twitter. But um, yeah, they don't have the same background knowledge as me. I'm going to tell you guys exactly what happened. I'm going to give you guys a backstory. I'm going to break it down. I'm going to tell you guys why this man is a giant baby. And uh, I hope that you drop a like on the video. I'm giving away $20, PSN, Xbox, PC, whatever you want. Drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe to me. Click the link in the description below. If you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, you get extra entries. I just gave away a couple gift cards on Twitter. Twitter's the best place to follow me, man. I'm doing stuff on Twitter all day long and I just got verified. Ooh. I don't want to brag, but I feel really good about it. Like, I, I feel it really makes me happy. Anyways, you guys know me. My name is PJ or I go by Overflow here on the internet. Former GameStop employee and I gotta say if this guy was in my store, I would have game stopped him before he went out the door. You know what I'm saying? That actually rhymed abs ac accidentally there. G GameStop God mixtape dropping soon. Alright, it's on the way. You may have heard some misinformation about this. You've probably seen this on Twitter and or Instagram, but I've heard many things from the fact that maybe this guy didn't have the correct receipt and he was trying to get his money back, but he wasn't able to because of GameStop policies. I've heard maybe he was trying to get more trade credit. I've heard a bunch of stuff. All these guys are wrong, but by the context clues in the video and because of the fact that I do have sources, I do have top men that have given me uh, exclusive information on this. I can break you. I can break it down for you guys, and I will let you know exactly what happened in this situation. Apparently, it was around the game Fallout 76, which just released less than a week ago. So there's no possible way if he would. Okay, it released less than a week ago. GameStop has like a 30-day return policy. As long as it's unopened and you have the receipt, you can return it for full value back. They will give you all your money back. Or if you have already opened it and then you try to bring it back, they will give you trade credit for it. Other states, they do give cash. Here in Las Vegas, they don't. They only do trade credit. But you can get credit or cash, whatever. If you don't have the receipt and you have an unopened game, you have to do it for trade value. You have to open it. GameStop will not take that because of the fact we've had people before steal stuff out of boxes. We have people steal stuff off of trucks and then try to return it. This is a thing that has happened a lot and it's pretty reasonable, I think. And I got to say, this is what happened in this situation. This man tried to return the game, a brand new game, mind you. He tried to play it, open it, you know bring it to bring it home put it in his system mess around with it he ended up not liking it apparently and he wanted to return it for the full value back he uh, he did appear to have the correct receipt but here's how the world works man i got to be honest you cannot take something use it up and then try to um, return it for full value. That game no longer will sell as a brand new game because it is op it is un or it is opened, right? So a brand new game. If you go to GameStop and you buy it, those are unopened. You go there. And especially if you're somebody like me, I buy used games sometimes, but for the most part, I like to get a brand new game. I like to be the first one to peel off that that fresh cellophane wrapper, plasticky wrap, whatever that is. It makes me feel good inside, and I will not buy a brand new game that's been used and pay, you know, it doesn't make sense. It's like me going to a store, buying a pair of jeans, taking it on an outdoors excursion, tearing the jeans jeans up, they got dust all over them, they're, they're ripped up, and then I bring it back to the store and I say, hey, I want my full money back for these jeans. It's not going to happen because it, it's not going to happen. They do not have the same value as a new pair of jeans at this point. Just like if you buy a car, if you go and you buy a truck, you drive it off the lot, it is no longer a brand new vehicle. It is now considered a used vehicle. It's just how it is. You cannot... If you pay me to make you a sandwich, you eat that sandwich, and then you ask me to pay you back 
because you didn't like the sandwich? I'll be like, hey, maybe you give me back the sandwich and I'll eat it and then you could have the money back. Oh, you already ate the sandwich? Guess what? This is my money now. I worked, whatever. It, that's just how the world works and that's just what it is. So I hope that you guys understand. I'm sure that everybody who works in retail kind of understand. I, I know that most people probably understand that. And I know especially if you have worked in retail, you will know the customer is not always correct. And people come in trying to like, trying to finesse the system all the time. And that's no offense to people. I think that people are kind of always trying to get the most of what they can out of any specific situation. And I, I don't necessarily believe that's inherently bad, but you should definitely consider the other factors involved. Like if this guy were to get his money back from GameStop and then they put that game back on the shelf, that is in turn kind of messing up another person's gaming experience. And I gotta say the best part about this video, this man throws a huge tantrum, I think it's hilarious, but just to show you guys the, the hard, the, the battle veteran hardened experience of the GameStop employee working in this video, the very end of the video, like this man knocks over everything in the store, walks out. Um, I like the guy by the door too that's just kind of like staring. That guy's hilarious. But this guy knocks over everything and literally no reaction from the GameStop, <laughs> the GameStop employees whatsoever. You just hear at the end, the guy's like, the phone rings. Thank you for calling GameStop. This is Brian. How can I help you? Yep. All right. Just a normal day. It's a normal day here at GameStop. I'm not even going to address the fact that this guy destroyed half the store. And I, I, I got to say, man, you're literally ruining the day for the people working there for, like, pretty much no reason. So those guys are going to have to clean that up. At least I get a cool story out of it. You know what I'm saying? I'll be honest with you. If this happened in my GameStop, I wouldn't necessarily be mad. I would, like, think it's kind of hilarious, but I'm kind of that way, I guess. At least it's thrilling. At least you got a good story to go home and tell your friends. You know what I'm saying? Because that... That is funny, and you guys know me. I have a ton of stories that happen at GameStop. I got a ton of I, the 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 friends that I have that have gotten fired from there. The situations I've seen that happen in the store behind the scenes. I've seen people get in fist fights over like literally trade in values. I saw a. I've seen customers get in fights with employees over things like it's it's insane. And just to deal with this though, it, it is it is BS. So um, it is BS. There's no reason that you should be destroying a store because uh. You're mad that you didn't like a game. Like, I, I, I feel like as a person, if you buy something, you kind of take the responsibility of like, all right, this is my choice. This is what happens. If I don't like the game, I don't like the game. Whatever. It is what it is. Trade it to a friend. Do something. Sell it to a friend for 50 bucks. You know what I'm saying? They, they get $10 off the game. You get 50 bucks back. Do, do something other than destroying somebody's store because there's some dude that's making like eight bucks an hour that's going to have to clean that up. That's, you know, I'm just saying. I'm just saying I feel like personally might be a little bit rude, you know? And also earlier today, if you guys follow me on Twitter, Keemstar tweeted this out, and then uh, uh, Face Clips, if you guys know him, he's the original founder of Face, tweeted me, he's like, it wouldn't have happened if games, if, uh, oh God, GameStop God. Uh, it wouldn't have happened if Overflow was there. I almost refer to myself as GameStop. That's, that's, that's ridiculous. But I just, I just kind of wanted to show you guys this video. I thought it was really funny. I've been seeing it circulate all over the internet. And um, I, I had to I had to bring it to you guys' attention. I had to kind of break it down. What do you guys think about this situation? Don't get me wrong. I think there's th there's things that GameStop can definitely change, and um, things to make certain things better, certain things to make certain customers more happy. I'm sure that that's this is all possible. But I I do want to say I think that this in this situation it's pretty cut and dry. It's pretty clear that um, if you buy something and then you try to return it after you've already like lowered the value of it, you shouldn't expect uh, you know, to get a, f like, all your money back, just like, I, I just think that's a little ridiculous, I think it's a little bit, uh, self-centered, maybe a little greedy, perhaps, you know what I'm saying, and I also think that you shouldn't be destroying stores, now there's, like, some dude who's gonna have to clean that all up, or a girl, maybe there's a girl there that's gotta clean that up, that's rude, I think that, I'm just saying, and I think that everybody can agree with that sentiment, but either way, I've been, I've been just kinda enjoying the whole GameStop stories lately, and here at the end of the video, I think I'll talk to you guys a little bit, my people, my personal subscribers, man, I have been, where I, I know that literally in the, since I did the boxing, the Logan Paul KSI boxing fight thing, which, first off, anybody, like, I heard, I seen somebody say, I, are you still talking about that? Yes! 
It was huge. It was a huge event in my life. One of the coolest things, if not the coolest thing I've ever done. And since then, I've had so many opportunities. But I'm still here making videos for you guys because I love you. I know that I haven't been as active lately. But I do want to get on the grind with some Fortnite, Call of Duty, GameStop content here lately. And as you can see, two days, two uploads in a row. I'm really back. I'm really back on my grind. You feel me? I'm really, I'm really out here in this world. But no, I've been really doing a lot of stuff, trying to get a YouTuber social media house out here in Vegas started. So I've been in meetings with companies and sponsors and other YouTubers. And um, if you made it this far, I want you guys to let me know any YouTubers that you think would be a good fit to move into a house with like 10 other people. Let me know, and I'll look into their channels. I'll look into some stuff because we're really doing some pretty cool things out here. But either way, you guys, if you made it to the end, say uh. Uh, I would have game stopped that man. You know what I'm saying? I think that's pretty hilarious. And I hope that you definitely enjoy the video. I hope that you enjoy like my little take on it and how I broke it down. Let you guys know exactly kind of what happened, the backstory to it, and all that stuff. But um, I don't know. With seasonal coming up, with the holidays coming up, I'm sure we're gonna be. There's gonna be no shortage of ridiculous GameStop videos because. As the holidays come up, people get wild, people get crazy. Some of the funniest stories I've seen fist fights take place in GameStop because of the actions of some of the customers and the people and just the it get, there's so many people that come during the holidays. Like like I said, the store that I worked at was one of the main ones here in Vegas at a mall, and so literally um, there'd be like a hundred people in the store at once, and it was insane. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. I think I probably Probably gonna put some like Fortnite or something in the background, but um, yeah, man, uh, dope. If you guys have any uh, hilarious GameStop videos, always link them to me on Twitter. I would definitely appreciate that. Follow me on Instagram, do all that good stuff, and um, let me know what video you want to see next. I'm, I can't decide if I want to do like a, I might do a story. Maybe I'll do a, maybe I'll do a funny story or something. Maybe a vlog. I haven't really decided. Love you all. I'll see you in the next one, and I am over it and out. Great. I want my money back. There's nothing that I can do about it. That's just their policy. Like, it won't even come back in as a return to one brand new game. That's when I scan your receipt, it's going to see when this one was bought, and it's going to automatically give you trade credit. How you doing today, sir? Uh, uh, uh.